Hi everyone! I hope you are having great day today and welcome back to my new video. On this tutorial, I will show you how to install IP files on iPhone without computer. The first step to take is to download the IPA file you want to install on your iPhone. Then installing IP applications using third-party applications like eSign. You must open this link with your Safari browser to install eSign. Click Install DNS for a sign. Click Allow. Then install it on Settings. Profile downloaded and install. After install the profile, go the home screen, then click eSign Coidvin icon. Then download the Assign Certificate. Don't forget to save eSign zip to files. Try to install eSign link one by one until you see Untrusted Developer. If you see unable to install eSign, try again for another link until you see icon of eSign. Try again for another link until you see icon of eSign. Click eSign icon. If you see untrusted developer, please go to settings. General. VPN and Device Management. And click Trust. And now, you can open eSign app. Launch the eSign on home screen. Click three dots on the top. Select Import. Then import the assigned zip file that you downloaded earlier. Unzip the assigned cert and import the certificate. Make sure you import the assigned cert as you verified in the settings earlier. For example, I have verified the certificate of Aldo Group Inc. So I will import the Aldo Group certificate into my assign. Click on the certificate, then import. After importing the certificate, now you can install IP files on your iPhone without a computer or jailbreak. Please download the IPA files first, then click the three dots again and import the IPA files. Then click the menu icon below Then click Signature by pressing the icon on the IPA that you have imported. After Signature, then click Install. And now the IPA files have been successfully installed on your iPhone with eSign, without a computer and without jailbreak. For the eSign link, you can see the description of this video. Please pay attention not to delete the DNS that you have installed. If you delete it, it is possible that the assign will not be able to be opened again in the future. Okay, thanks for watching this video.